By the late 15th century, eastern elks were widespread in North America and could be found throughout most of the continent. As people continued to settle in the region over the next few centuries, elk populations decreased due to overhunting and the loss of their dense woodland habitat. By the end of the 19th century the eastern elk was completely extinct. What little is known about this race of elk has been gleaned from remains and historical references. The last eastern elk was shot in Pennsylvania on September 1877. The Labrador duck was a North American bird. It has the distinction of being the first endemic North American bird species to become extinct after the Columbian Exchange, with the last known sighting occurring in 1878. It was already a rare duck before European settlers arrived, and as a result of its rarity information on the Labrador duck is not abundant, although some, such as its habitat, characteristics, dietary habits and reasons behind its extinction, are known. There are 55 specimens of the Labrador duck preserved in museum collections worldwide. As marine mammal species often play a large part in their ecosystems, it is possible that the sea mink was an important intertidal predator. Like other minks, individual sea minks may have maintained home ranges, and since the males were larger and required more food, males would have had larger territorial claims. The sea mink was pursued by fur traders due to its large size, this made it more desirable than other mink species further inland. The unregulated fur trade eventually led to its extinction. Fur traders made traps to catch sea minks and also pursued them with dogs, although they were rarely trapped. If a sea mink escaped into a small hole on the rocky ledges, it was dug out by hunters using shovels and crowbars. If it was out of reach of the hunters, it was shot and then retrieved using an iron rod with a screw on the far end. If it was hiding, it was smoked out and suffocated. The mink's nocturnal behavior may have been caused from pressure by fur traders who hunted them in daylight. The Gull Island vole is a subspecies of the meadow vole last collected in 1897. A ground-dwelling coastal beach grass herbivore endemic to Great Gull Island in New York, it disappeared after habitat destruction for naval fortifications in August 1898 for the Spanish-American War. Feral cats were also partly responsible in its decline. The Jamaica giant gallowasp was endemic to Jamaica. It was last recorded in 1840 and is now possibly extinct, likely exterminated by introduced predators like mongooses. Recent surveys, while extensive, have not yet been exhaustive, given the difficulties of access into and around the Black River morass, leaving room for some hope that the species may persist, albeit with a tiny population. Although there are some early historical records of the rats of Jamaica, very little is to be found in them regarding Jamaican rice rat, perhaps because the species declined rapidly following the European colonization of the island and because early authors failed to distinguish it from introduced rodents. Its disappearance is usually attributed to the small Asian mongoose, which was introduced to Jamaica in 1872, and sometimes also to introduced rat species. It also may have been affected by the massive environmental changes that occurred on the island after the British takeover in 1655. In that period, the bulk of the island came to be used for cultivation, so that the native habitat of Jamaican rice rat was destroyed. Thus, it was reduced to competition with introduced rats in man-made habitats, to which the latter are well adapted. St. Lucia pylori is an extinct rodent that lived on the island of St. Lucia in the Eastern Caribbean. It was the size of a small cat. The last known specimen died in the London Zoo in 1852, after three years of captivity. 
It probably became extinct in the latter half of the 19th century, with the last record dating from 1881. Navassa curly-tailed lizard is known only from the one female specimen from which it was described in 1868. Navassa has xeric forest vegetation, but nothing specific is known about biology of this species. The reason for its extinction is unknown too, but predation by cats is a possible reason. Titius extinctus is only known from a single male collected in 1884 in the northern range of Martinique. The species epithet based on the fact that this taxon was already extinct when it was described. Little is known about the behavior of the Cuban macaw and its extinct Caribbean relatives. It was reported that it vocalized loudly like its Central American relatives and that it lived in pairs or families. Its speech imitation abilities were reportedly inferior to those of other parrots. Nothing is known about its breeding habits or its eggs, but one reported nest was a hollow in a palm. The Cuban macaw was traded and hunted by Native Americans and by Europeans after their arrival in the 15th century. Many individuals were brought to Europe as cagebirds, and 19 museum skins exist today. No modern skeletons are known, but a few subfossil remains have been found on Cuba. It had become rare by the mid-19th century due to pressure from hunting, trade, and habitat destruction. Hurricanes may also have contributed to its demise. After its discovery in 1897, Orizomis nelsoni has never been recorded again and it is now considered extinct. The presence of introduced black rats on Maria Madre may have contributed to its extinction. It was a large species, distinguished in particular by its long tail, robust skull, and large incisors. It was reddish to yellowish above and mostly white below. Its diet may have included plant material and small animals. Letitia's thorntail is only known from two old male specimens from Bolivia. Consequently, its behavior and habitat are unknown, but likely similar to that of other thorntails. It has been suggested that it represented a hybrid or a variant of the racket-tailed coquette, but a study has validated its status as a distinct species. The red-throated woodrail is a disputed species of bird in the family Rallidae. If it is not a misidentification, it was endemic to Peru and apparently became extinct due to habitat loss some time in the 20th century. Falkland Islands wolf was the only native land mammal of the Falkland Islands. This endemic canid became extinct in 1876, the first known canid to have become extinct in historical times. The route by which the Falkland Islands wolf was established in the islands was unknown for a long time, as the islands have never been connected to the mainland and there are no other native land mammals. Some speculated that the species had originally arrived with indigenous peoples visiting the islands after the settlement of the Americas, having been kept by them in a semi-domesticated state, 
There is, however, no definite evidence that humans ever visited the Falklands before the Age of Discovery nor is there any evidence that the ancestors of the wolf were ever domesticated. When Charles Darwin visited the islands in 1833 the animal was already very rare, and its numbers were declining rapidly. It was hunted for its valuable fur, and the settlers, regarding the wolf as a threat to their sheep, poisoned it. However, the belief that Falkland Islands wolf was a threat to sheep was probably due to the sheep mistaking the Falkland Islands wolves for dogs, and, in terror, the sheep ran into bogs and swamps, where they became lost. There were no forests for the animal to hide in, and it had no fear of humans, it was possible to lure the animal with a chunk of meat held in one hand, and kill it with a knife or stick held in the other.